Before we start assembling the pieces, let's make sure that we have everything. We should have one 20 inch length of 7 8 inch aluminum tubing, one 18 inch length of 3 4 inch aluminum tubing, two 18 inch lengths of 3 4 inch aluminum tubing, one boat vent, and two tube connectors. The 20 inch tubing will act as the base tube for height adjustment. Simply insert any of the 18 inch lengths of 3 4 inch tubing to add to the height of your support pole. If you have a connection that requires a snap, you can use the tubing with the attached snap as your connector. The rubber stopper at the end of the 20 inch tube is for a boost of added stability. To disassemble the boat vent, first twist the wing nut counterclockwise off of the thread. Remove the bottom clamp. This is known as the lower flange. Slide it off, as well as the upper flange, which might take some pulling to come off. Next, use the diagram on your instructions to make your two and a quarter inch template. Once you've cut out the outline circle, use it as to trace a mark on your boat cover. Now, we're going to reassemble the boat vent. Put the upper flange back on the boat vent. This piece is going to go on top of the boat cover. We'll use this piece of cloth as an example. Place it into the hole that you created with your template. From underneath the boat cover, put the lower flange back onto the boat vent. Lock it in place, and then make sure you secure it with that wing nut. Once the boat vent is installed, you can attach the links of support poles using as many or as few as needed.